pretties, welcome back to Pretty Incorporated, where we are loving on ourselves and shining our light on the world as everyday women striving to be the best in our own lives. I am Germany, and on today I am bringing you all a video on Fahas shapewear and waist trainers. Those are definitely big things that we as women love to wear, and so I want to give you all my tips on them, the things that reason why I wear them, and show you the ones that I wear, and just kind of explain them to you. So let's get to the video. have my notes here guys so just in case so I can keep my thoughts together so the first one we're gonna look at is shapewear so shapewear is basically to help flatten out your stomach smooth out your shape when you put on clothes it makes you look more flattering more attractive more just smooth you don't want to have your uh, outfit on and your muffin top is hanging out you don't want to you don't want to look like that you want to be able to have a flat surface and to where it be smooth you want to look smooth polished and put together so especially when we wear like dresses skirts and things like that so two that I wear are uh, the two that I wear one is from Walmart it is called um, Madden form and it looks like this I started out with this one I still wear these I have to try new ones and I want to get some new ones but this one I don't I like it because it does help shape me really well and but I don't like the fact that it has these lines in the front because on certain items or things that you wear it can look those can come through and especially in the back it looks like you have a thong on even if you don't have a thong on because usually when I wear shapewear I don't wear no underwear <laughs> so I usually just wear this as my underwear and undergarment when I put on clothes and so it also has a whole all sh little shape where you usually come with a pee hole but I do not open this to pee I just pull it all the way, way down I love this because I love shapewear that has the long the the short part I don't like shapewear that has either a thong or panties just because they don't fully cover the stomach they will end up cutting um that stomach area and then you have some of your fat hanging out from it and that's just not cute and then those also bring all the fat together it doesn't necessarily flatten you out it just pushes everything together and look like a big bunched up ball in the front which is not cute um so yeah this one is i get from walmart and so i i wear this a lot i have several of them but i am moving towards a new brand which i'm going to share with you all that's the next one and this one is by spanx um is assets by spanx I absolutely love this one and so this is also a short set it also um, has this one doesn't have an opening in it but every area the, the area is soft this one also comes back with your butt because sometimes when you wear shapewear you can lose the shape of your boot your butt and so this just helps to shape out your butt give it give it some lift as well but also to make sure you keep the softness of your butt and the bounce of your butt so that's really really why i like this one because it does still keep my booty looking nice and keep it a little fluffy make it look like something and don't let it look like a flat pancake in the back that's not what we want to do but all of these come up to your bra area right above the bra line and so i really like this um it's very high waisted uh, this is absolutely my favorite it's very smoothing very flattering on the body and again the booty be looking real real nice in that and so yeah this is just shapewear shapewear again is just to smooth you out you know make you look slimmer make you make it, your clothes look more polished and put together okay so the next one i'm going to cover are waist trainers so i have two waist trainers here the first one I'm going to show you is this waist trainer that I ordered from Alibaba. I was going to um, look into starting my own fitness um, piece line, which I'm still considering um, on shapewear because I'm very big on shapewear. Um, and especially trying to shape my body naturally without having to shape my, have, shape my body with surgery, but like that. So what I'm doing is this one came when I this one was when I was 178 pounds. I had this one. This one is a zipper. It comes with a zipper. And I like this one because it covered majority of my stomach. Most shape where if you have that lower half is your struggle area, it's not gonna cover. It's just gonna stop very much and so your waist. And it's not gonna it's not not your waist, but your hips. And it's not gonna cover much of the extra little fupa area that we're trying to cover. And so I liked it for that, but as it got 
as I got smaller in it, it, it was hard. It was it was hard to work with because the zipper only stayed in this one spot. And then the straps on there, they only went so far. And so I don't like this tra this waist trainer because as you can see, the little Velcro only goes so much. But you need to tighten it more than what it you know it needs to come behind the Velcro at some point. So I do. This is one that I try and I went up. This was a 4XL, y'all. So y'all gonna see how. Waist trainers, now when you get them, they do run like, you have to, you be like, I'm not no 4XL in real life, I'm not no 2X. That's just how they run because of the fit of them, how tight they are, and so you want to get those things. But that one was a 4XL. So then I found this one on Amazon, which I went, I'm needing a medium now in this one, but this is currently a large. This one is one where you have the bra, little strip, little, um, what's the bra strap things. Uh, not bra straps y'all what are these things called i can't think of them right now but your little lace up in your bra and so this one you i like this because you can start out at the beginning you start out in the middle and you, your your goal is to get to the third notch well for me i knew this one was too big when i got it because i was able to get to the third notch first time putting it on and so i was like but we're gonna keep it. It was tight and fitted. But working out in this, I would not suggest doing ab workouts in this one due to the boning in here. It is flexible and breathable, yes. But it is very un it's uncomfortable when you're bending down. You can't really do a, a sit up very well. You can't do a crunch very well. And so I would not recommend this wearing this doing days where you do ab workouts. I say you can do it on every other workout: arms, legs, cardio, whichever one you want to do. Butt, glutes, all those things, except for ab workouts and so this one again everything will be linked down below and this one these are the best because as it gets loose you get to tighten it but you want to start at the first notch then you wait for the second notch and then the third notch is what you want to get to and this one the material is like very breathable and I just actually love it like it's helping shape me so much because baby once you know once I'm able once I decide to go and let them give me a little tummy tuck some Baby, they ain't gonna have to shape me. I'm gonna be shaped already. Okay, that's the goal to minimal work as possible and working on shaping yourself before you have to have some surgery. Because we know we can get there. I understand. I understand. But yes. Last thing that I'm talking about is Faha. Now you think, girl, you wearing a Faha? That's what people with like BBLs and they get um liposuction. Yes, that's also true. But the point of shape where I mean a Faha is to also help to shape you give you some that hourglass figure as well to give you the hourglass shape all of these things are to made to help us have that slim waist and those wide looking hips that we all desire to have even me even with my slim 5'1 petite self i still want to look like i have some shape and so i'm doing the best i can to try to shape myself so this faha again i got this off of amazon again link down below because i don't know the brand name I started in a large in this. I'm now in a medium and I'm needing a small as we speak. <laughs> so it looks like this. Again, it has those little bra facets as well. And these little latches in them. And then in the back, it comes again down to the thigh. I do not like, again, shorts because it cuts the meat. It be cutting right into the your private area. And that's the, your girl got to breathe, okay? The girl has to breathe and that's not a good feeling. And then you have... Um, again, the butt is again not tight, nothing's on the back, so you still have shape to your butt, which I like. Also, all fahas have this opening because when you do get a BBL or liposuction, you cannot come out of this, you have to try to use this. So, I wear these. How long do I wear these? I wear them for shoot, eight hours a day. Um, when the summertime came, I was wearing this thing every day. I was every day. When the moment, the moment I took, got up in the morning, I would take a shower, put on, put this on, and then I would go. I'm going to also show you all a clip of how I wear mine. Being that I still have my lower area is my problem, I have to wear a shapewear under my um, faha. So what I do is I put the shapewear on and oh because girl my legs they thighs touch and they don't be feeling good either. So I put the shapewear on and then I go in with my faha on top of and then I go in with the faha on top of the the um what's the saying the shapewear and then y'all to be extra extra <laughs> extra 
I go in with the waist trainer. I'm going to show y'all all of that in the clip because, yes, I'm obsessive. But I'm really trying to work on shaping my body, giving my body some shape. And honestly, it's just for me to love the body that I have, love working on it, love trying to make it look good, love trying to make me feel good about that. And shapewear does that. Shapewear is helping me see because when I put certain clothes, I'm like, man, I just got these pants, you know, tailored, and they already, the waist is, like, big. So, I know I'm shrinking, and I know it is small, but due to, you know, having weight loss surgery, that extra skin is there. So, it's it's hard to work with it. Being wanted to look polished and smooth is very important. So, yeah, that's all I have about these videos. So, just really... When picking shapewear also, and when picking shapewear, a waist trainer, a faja, you want to go a size down. Make sure that you don't get your actual size, you get a size down because you want it to be tight. Not like to where you can't breathe, but you want it to be tight. Now, I go down to a smaller size, but I can still breathe. You, again, do not get one two sizes too small to where you, you don't ever want it to feel like you can't breathe. That's just too much because it's already, you know, squeezing in all of your body shape and trying to get it to look a certain way. So, you don't want to be up there, can't breathe, and going to pass out from trying to look good. No, you want to be as comfortable as possible. All these things, yes, I wear all three of them at one time, but I promise I can still breathe i can lay down i can feel comfortable when i'm wearing it. i can lounge around the house and do the things that i need to do with it so yes ladies that is all i have for you girls just a quick video on shapewear waist trainers and the faja so if you all have any questions please put them down in the comments i would gladly ask if i didn't really answer anything but i just wanted to share with you those things as you are on your weight loss journey or you're trying to reset your body it is doable but you have to also know that waist trainers will not help you lose weight again a waist trainer will not help you lose weight please make sure you know that waist trainer faja none of that is going to help you lose weight you have to eat right as well and exercise in order for it to work and do its job so yes that's all i have please don't forget to like comment subscribe join the pretty family because we all getting bigger from here and i will see you pretties in the next video